Hello, hello. Let's get this show on the road. So, if you couldn't already tell by the title of this video, I am doing the stripped down challenge created by the one and only Jonah Green. I was trying to come up with like a funny nickname for him, but that didn't work. Ah. So basically, if you don't know what the stripped down challenge is, it is where there's no cuts, no edits. I'm not gonna like stop anything. It's just raw 10 minutes of footage of just me talking to a camera. So what I've already listed that. <laughs> so I already listed out a whole bunch of things that I want to talk about in this video. It's not going to be like sad and depressing. Like I know my friend Jimmy, I just watched his video and he's like, yeah, some of these YouTubers were like really sad making this video. And I'm like, he's like, why are you so sad? But that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I saw, I just saw like a whole bunch of my friends like make this video, like Drew Mac, Jimmy, Jack, and created by the one and only Jonah Green. I already said that. See, that's something that I would have taken out, but I can't. Thanks, Jonah. So what I wanted to, actually, I don't think 10 minutes is going to be enough. Am I right, ladies? So, um, what I wanted to talk about in this video is, um, basically just like November. Because November was a very exciting month, and it's like not even over yet. Well, it's kind of over. By the time you see this, it's probably over. So, um, I wanted to talk about, I originally was going to do a Q&A, but I'm like, q and a suck, so I just went on you now. But, <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about, if you saw my last video, I filmed a recap for Panic at the Disco for 104 Fest, and Panic at the Disco, Local H, Atlas Genius, they were all there, and I filmed it all. And put it together in one big video called a recap. Called a recap. <laughs> yep. So basically, um, I got to meet Brendan, hang out with Panic, Alice Genius, Local H. Local H was, yeah, they were, they were, they were really sweet. Let's just put it that way. But Brendan, always a pleasure working with him. Um, I've met him before in the past and he's like, yeah, I remember you guys from last time and you like, you wanted to make a vine about pants or something because we did. And then I ended up making a vine with him, like uh, an F yeah Friday. See, I would bleep that out because I'm a good boy and a lot of parents watch my videos. So yeah, that was basically panic in a nutshell. And it was really fun. Like I was like just a little boy in the pit, like, you know where security is and like the, the fans like behind the barricade. I was like with security, like taking pictures of Brendan and panic and everyone and it was just so fun such a great experience like I was just a boy with all these other like 25 year olds and they're probably like what the hell are you doing here get out of here but I'm like no I do this <clears throat> so yeah that was panic and um oh uh I'm gonna go in order so um last week on Wednesday I had a friend's giving and I just love my friends so much I just I think I just had to throw that in there and just talk about our friends giving um, where do we start? Um, we started with saying the Pledge of Allegiance, always. No, not the Pledge of Allegiance, the Star Spangled Banner. Um, that was fun. I feel like I'm talking too fast. And then, uh, my friend Tommy, he laughed so hard that he got a nosebleed. And if you, um, follow me on Snapchat, you would have saw that. And if you were confused, that's what, that's what happened. He laughed so hard that his nose started bleeding. And that basically ended our dinner, and then we just went to go play kickball because that's what we do. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. If you're watching this squad, I love you. Um, two days ago, I went Black Friday shopping, and bleh. <sighs> Honestly, shopping on Thanksgiving night is way better than Black Friday because Friday I went to the mall, and I thought I was going to throw up. I thought I was going to throw up. The mall just gives me such agita. Yeah, that's a word. Such agita. Like, I hate the mall so much, but, like, I mean, it's the only place where I can, like, go to the stores that I want to go to, like, urban and stuff. And, yeah, I just went and I'm like, oh, boy. I'm like, Phew. there were, like, 200 people in urban. And I'm like, this is not going to happen. I got a hat, paid for it, left, done. So, yeah. I made a whole video about that. I'm not going to go into the descriptive about my overthinking. I made an entire video about that. Go check it out. It's called Stop Overthinking. And, um, yeah. Uh, oh, 
<laughs> on the way to Black Friday shopping, I went to Dunkin' Donuts and I went inside and behind the counter I'm like, I heard some like scruffling and some some words exchange and these two people behind the counter, these two Dunkin' Donuts workers, they were just like yelling at each other and he's like, if you get like words I can't even say on YouTube because I will get copyright strike. But um, God, I feel like I'm on <laughs> my saying. But yeah, they were just like fighting behind the counter, and he like got like in his face so close. He's like fucking hit me, um, and he's like fucking hit me. I swear to God, get the out of here and never come back. And I'm like, this is not happening. I'm like, I'm like, what's gonna happen next? I was like so excited to see what happened next. So I, I was so excited to see what was gonna happen next. So I like got my phone ready. I'm like. It's not happening. This is not happening. So then I was, but they didn't end up hitting each other, and that's a good thing, of course. Of course, it's a good thing that they didn't hit each other because violence is bad. Yeah, that was my Dunkin' Donuts extravaganza. Um. Oh, my mom came into my room last night at about at around like 12:30 a.m. and she like came into my room. She like kicked my door down, and she's like, "Parasite, par parasite, parasite." I'm like, what? <laughs> and she's like, you are not doing enough on YouTube. And with your audience that you have, you're not doing enough. And I'm like, stop yelling at me. And she just, she wouldn't stop. And then she's right. I mean, I feel like I don't upload enough. And I want to change that. And I I will change that because this is what I do. This is what this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Well, I mean, not YouTube for the rest of my life. I want to do something bigger, but for now, I want to keep making videos because it's obviously working. I mean, I'm almost at 10,000 and by the time this video is up, I might have already hit it. Who knows? And I feel like I could do so much more with what I have in front of me, like, not many people get this opportunity to, like, talk to thousands of people whenever they want. But, that's just me. I feel like I could be doing, like, much more with you guys and, like, interact... Much more with you guys. I keep doing that. And, like, interacting and, like, giving you stuff and giving back because... I owe a lot to you guys. <laughs> like... Ugh, God, I feel so gross saying, like... Uh, without you guys, I'd be nothing. I hate the YouTubers that say that, like... Ugh. Um... And what I want out of YouTube and the internet. What I want out of YouTube is... I want, like, this to lead to something more than the internet. I mean, the internet is becoming, like, the new... Like, entertainment platform. But, like... This, like, I want to keep posting videos to the internet because I feel like the mainstream media, like, just doesn't understand what we do here, and it kind of sucks, but that's how it is. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. Like, the big business, like, people, they don't get us, but some people do. I've met a few, like, people who, like, they're like, yeah, keep doing this. Like, this, you're doing, you're on to something, kid. And, like, just keep doing it, and it, like, it leads to opportunities like Panic. Like, filming a video for Panic at the Disco in an interview, twice. What 16-year-old gets to do that? Not many. Actually, I was, I was 14 when I got to film my first interview for Panic. Like, not many kids get to do that. But, me doing YouTube has led up to me doing that, and not many people get that opportunity. And, hashtag blessed. What was that? That was a gang sign, more of a hashtag. Um, and yeah, um, what I want... Well, 2015 is sort of coming to an end, and like, it's time to set the New Year's resolutions. So like, uh, New Year's resolutions, I don't know. I just want to keep uploading... Wow, I sound like such a freaking dork. Like, I just want to keep making videos and just keep doing what I'm doing. No, I want to do more than, like... I want to come out with a clothing line. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. Here's the deal, kiddos. I want to come out with a clothing line. I want to make more merchandise. I want to upload like f fucking four videos a week and just keep doing this because something's clicking. Um, like I have my second channel. I had it for what five months. I'm at five, almost 500 subscribers. <sighs> what? Why? I got partnered with Full Screen and they've been nothing but great to me. Like, they've, they've given me, like, more opportunities in the past three months that I've been with them. 
than like anything that I've ever done on my seven years on YouTube. Like they've helped me so much. And I accomplished that in like three months and I, feel, I wish I did that sooner. And my 10 minutes are up, but I'm not done. <laughs> um, uh, oh, I'm going to a night. <laughs> I just completely like threw away what I was saying, but I think I said enough about that. Um, I'm going to a 1975 concert this Friday, whenever this video goes up. It's December 4th, if you're going. It's in New York at Terminal 5. I'm going with my friends Chloe and Maddie. I love you guys if you're watching this. Um, and I was like thinking in the shower, like, and I was thinking about my stop overthinking video and and this concert like combined in the mall situation, like how I was like freaking out in the mall because of those because of how many people there were, I'm like, what is going to happen at this concert? Like, if I was, like, messed up at the mall with 200 people, what is going to happen at this concert with 3,000 people all together in a mosh pit? Like, I've been in a mosh pit before, and believe me, I go hard. Shirts have come off. But other than that, like, like this whole, like, overthinking thing, like, just started, like, junior year this year. So I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? And I haven't been in a mosh pit this year yet, and that's all that the concert is, is general admission. So I was thinking, like, what is gonna happen? But I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're going to the concert, tweet me. We could hang out. I'll be in the city all day, too, on Friday. Whew. So. I cannot believe I just did that. I've never talked to a camera for 10 minutes straight before and my thing is flashing and it's really making me mad. It's coming up on 12 minutes and your SD card makes a new file when it hits 12 minutes, for my SD card at least, so I don't know what's gonna happen next. But, wow, I cannot believe I just did that. I'm really proud of myself, high five. <laughs> so, I wanna tag a few people to do this too. Um, all right, here we go. Benny McNugget, <laughs> that was so bad. Benny McNugget, A Dubs, um, uh, Life with Eric, Leah Aliana. Um, there was someone in my driveway and I got really distracted. Um, oh my God, let me do that. AJ Sanchez, um, Alex Warren. Um, hang on, I'm gonna look through my contacts. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, Adam Jernberg, even though you're doing your circus thing, that's so sick, by the way. Um, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Hang on, 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 hang on. Daria, Daria, um, Eric Matt, um, Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Looking, 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 looking. And that's about it. And anyone, anyone, I'm tagging everyone. <laughs> but those people that I just said, you gotta do it. I said A dubs, right? A dubs, you gotta do this. Okay, <laughs> see, that's the thing I would have cut out, but can't. This was an amazing challenge, and I completed this challenge, like, wow, 14 minutes? Crazy. Um, anyways, I'm sorry that just, like, sort of died down. I was really hyper, and then I just sort of died a little bit, but, all right, here come the promos. All right, follow me on Google+. Plus. Yes, that is a thing now. I figured out that, like, Google+, Plus helps you a lot with, like, your YouTube channel, so go follow me on Google+. Plus. I've never thought I'd say that ever. Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Vine. Uh, no, don't follow me on Vine. I hate Vine. Kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, all those links are in the description, and I hope you guys enjoyed my stripped down challenge. And yeah, uh, wow, I'm gonna start making a lot more videos. I know I say that every time I film. I know I say that every time I film, but like, I'm actually gonna do it this time. I just got a new mic. I don't know how that sounded, but I just got a new mic, and yeah, so I will see you guys next week. Okay, see ya!